In the state of Alabama, you either root for Auburn or for Alabama on this day near the close of every college football season. The city of Birmingham, you can drive down any street, in fact, in the whole state, probably any road, and have no competition on the highway. Everybody's inside to watch number four, Alabama, take on pesky old foe Auburn at Legion Field in Birmingham, where we may have an all-time record crowd today. And Simmons is in the punt. Malcolm Simmons averaging just under 44 yards per kick. It is not a particularly good punt. It does take an Alabama bounce. However, it is picked up by the Auburn man on the move. It is... Dead run. He may go. No, it's caught from behind. It's Chuck Clinton from Pensacola. Auburn now on fourth down will go for the field goal. From 25 yards, Al Del Greco out of Joe Sullivan hold. It is in the air. And he missed it. The ball is on the 17. Second down and 13. Gray keeps it. And he's loose. Down the sidelines with some help. He gets one block. And now they get him all the way down at the Auburn 20. Now they've got a double wing set up. Different offensive set for Alabama. As Gray goes to the right side and gets around the corner. Inside the 15 to the 13 before he is wrestled down. It's Carruth. Paul Carruth. A 6'1", 207-pound sophomore from Summit, Mississippi. Well, the offensive line is the real key in short yardage, and they didn't come off on the ball, but they still, through good running by Carruth, made the first down. Outside it goes to Carruth, to the corner, to the goal line, short. The hit, Greg Carr, sophomore from Birmingham. Gray keeps. Touchdown, Alabama. There are ten white shirts up front. Now they peel off. The kick goes to Jones. Not too deep. At the 25. And coming downfield, number two to make the play. That is Chuck Clinton. Second down and six for Alabama. From the 27, the ball is given off to Ricky Moore. Fumble, fumble, and he puts a white shirt on it. Winner of that one will go where? To the Peach Bowl, is Yes. Number two, Chuck Clinton. Rush on, kick is away. Penalty flag thrown downfield. Clinton has it. There's nothing but white shirts around it. And they got it. They got 12 men on the field, Keith. And it's up to Alabama to accept or refuse. Tennessee and Vanderbilt have a wild one going, don't they, in the fourth quarter? This is a running down for Alabama. Don't they go for it? Falls down, back inside the 30. Lost his footing. Auburn had four people coming after him. The traditional between Army and Navy from Philadelphia will wrap up the day for us at 3.45 Eastern time. Simmons kick is away and it's a dent. Clinton backs up to his 21. Looking for a little help and can't get much. He had one man down there helping him. That was not enough. You have a number 89 in the backfield now. That's Mike Edwards. James goes in motion. Hobby is in his quarterback. Pressure zone trying to set up a screen to the sidelines. They've got some room. They've got a first down. Pass goes to the tight end, Ed West. James goes in motion. Passes away. The pass is complete to Ed West. And West is inside the 20 and down at the 18. Clayton Buford now in his quarterback. He gives it to Peoples, and Peoples almost popped out of there with it. He gets it down to about the 10, where Robbie Jones got just enough of him to bring him down. Leaving Peoples, the long remaining back, the double wing set up, and he has the ball, and he has the first down as he reaches the Alabama 8. First and goal to go for Auburn. Bobby back, looks to throw it. Throws, it is.
intercepted, I believe. Yes. Intercepted by Tommy Wilcox. Away the quarterback. He's got a first down. As he reaches the 15. Greg Carr knocked him out. Mark Kraut, the tight end, flexes out wide to the left, top of the picture. Ray sets up to throw it. Auburn gets it. Edmund Nelson again. And so Simmons stands in the end zone to punt. Hits it at the three. Spins it upfield to Clinton. Backs up at the 36. And brings it back. Now he backed up to the 41 and brings it back to about the 48 or 9. Ball is just outside the Tigers 48 first down for Auburn and Sullivan gives it to Woods and Christopher Woods coming around the corner on the river gets it down to about the Alabama 41 where he is brought down by Jimmy Watts playing defensive end. There's your second option it goes to James and James cannot get around the corner at just about the line of scrimmage and that was it and there's a penalty flag thrown right where the ball was snapped. Here's the call. Defense. The ball is moved on the holding penalty down inside the Alabama 32. It's up. He missed it to the right again. He missed the first one on the right side and he misses this one on the right side and he had plenty of lag on it. Lewis to the roof. The roof is caught and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Did get pretty good field position out of this. Malcolm Simmons averaging just under 44 yards, and boy, that's a dandy. He nailed it. That's Clinton. And Clinton comes across the 40 out to about the 43. It's third down and two after the penalty. The pass is away to the sideline. The pass is completed to Tommy Carroll. But he is short of the first down at midfield. Joey Jones is deep for the tie. Joey lets it go. And he's knocked it out of bounds on the five. Ben Goss is a tight end. Tight end, right. He's going to throw it out of the end zone. Well, he didn't need it. Walter Lewis, who has. I think great leg strength. 540 to go in the first half. And Alabama leading seven to nothing. It is Joe Carter and looks like Carter crossed the 15. If in fact he did, it will be a first down. Very unusual, the wishbone style of play. David King back. Fair catch called for Auburn. And the Tigers get the ball back. First down on their own 37. <laughs> First down from the 37. Oh, look at this. People is out there. It's, it's a foot race. And it's touchdown. It is Carruth at the seven. Down at about the 13. The ball is very close to the 12. Alan Gray coming toward the corner and takes a lick. At the 10, Fumble. fumbles and Auburn recovers it. Mark Germany. Del Greco is in with a tee. 22-yard field goal attempt to give Auburn the lead. The staff just fumbles, and Sullivan tries to throw it away and doesn't work. Is the face mask filter though, Keith? I believe. Penalty flag thrown back on about the 20-yard line. So hold on, everything here. Intentional grounding on offense. Down count. The ball goes over first down. Second down and six. Walter Lewis drops back the throw, looks for Jones deep down the middle. Jones is out there, well covered, and it is incomplete, intercepted. As the ball ricocheted off the cover man. First down with a minute 20 to go in the first half. Hobby hands it off to Peoples, and George runs it up close to the 29. Got about six yards on that carry. 
I think Auburn will be content to just run the clock out. One minute, less than a minute to play. Peoples again surging up the middle for what appears to be a first down. That will stop the clock. Look at this ball, a little triple wing. Triple wing to the top of the picture as Sullivan rolls that way and puts it in the air to the sidelines. And the man is taken out of bounds at the Alabama 47. He's got it up. Ball hits the ground. No flag thrown. First half is over. And after one half of play at Leaping Field in Birmingham, Alabama 7 and Auburn 7. And here's Vern. The kick. Kick rush on by Alabama. Little feigning act put on by Bollinger, but it doesn't get him anything. And the fair catch after a 32-yard punt is down at the Alabama 45. It's third down and five from midfield. Foley turns it in the middle. Penalty flag goes down. Foley goes down at the Auburn 46, a yard short of the first down. Let's see what the call is. Base mask against Foley. They break the bone. As Foley hands it off inside the Brooks. Oh, it's Moore. Number Moore it is, carrying the ball. And the penalty really hurt Auburn. Because they had Alabama stopped on fourth and about two. Here's Coley. And Coley is gang tackled as he closes in on the 23. That'll leave him about a yard and a half short of his first down. Auburn linebackers settle in there. They've got about a nine-man front up there. They give it off to Moore, and he goes over the top, and looks like he's got his first down. Second down and ten. Uh -oh. Number 92 stepped across Scott Riley and made contact. Whether he was tempted, teased, yes, he was. That sends Jones, the speedster, to the top of the picture. Holy back to throw, slips that little shovel pass inside to Bendross, and Bendross has got a first down, touchdown, Alabama! Now they drop off, and the kick is away, not long again. Ball goes through Jones, it's loose! Auburn man chasing it, Clinton can't find it, he's still dribbling it. He falls on it. He's down on the one. It is Auburn football. Can you believe it? He's making a bona fide effort to get the ball. I think that's legal. This is James for the corner. Touchdown. The punt by Simmons. Quentin, who's been quite a figure in this ball game, accepts it back at the 25. And he's knocked out of bounds up around the 33. Hobby is at quarterback. And George Peoples sticks his helmet in the crowd and moves it out to about the 38. That's almost five yards. Take it inside again. George Peoples is earning his supper. And it looks like he may have a first down. Let's spend a moment with Vern. Third down, and they need about six inches. It'll be a tough six inches. Quarterback just dives right down Monk. The knees and ankles. Auburn playing Alabama. Mighty tough. Here goes Peoples. That's the play he almost, in fact, that's the play he broke the touchdown run on, and by golly, he almost snuck out of there again. Second down and one. Let's see if they go along with it. If they'll stay with the ground. Nope. He's going to put it up. He's going for Woods. It's going to be picked off. Kenny Perrin makes the interception. Well, he tried to go for the big play, and it backfired on him. Mickey Ginyard goes in motion, and the ball is handed off to Moore, and the big freshman just keeps on ricocheting. 
Getting it again in motion. And they go inside again to Moore. And Ricky's now in Auburn territory at about the uh, Tiger 47. Third down in the yard. Lewis goes outside to Ginyard. And Ginyard has the first down, and the ball comes loose. Auburn says, we've got it. And they do. Again, Alabama has 10 men at the line of scrimmage. Pressure just barely gets it away. And Jones fumbles again. Auburn's got the ball. Second down to about 15. Bobby sets up the throw. Goes over the middle. The pass is caught by Carroll. Tommy Carroll makes the catch at the Alabama 23. Quarterback Bobby. Good heaven. Got good movement behind Charlie Garnum and Bob Hicks. Auburn will have the win, what little there is in the final quarter. Buford coming out behind some blocking. Then turns it back in and goes down. Penalty flag goes down with it. Ed West, the tight end. <laughs> Sullivan gets blocking, goes back the other way with it, hits Lionel James with it. Thomas Boyd runs him down and knocks him out of bounds, and a penalty flag is thrown, and it's going to go against Alabama. At the beat. Buford, the quarterback. Goes outside to James. James is out of bounds. That's the five. First and goal to go, Auburn. All right, Del Greco has missed from 25, missed from 43, missed from 22, and now this is a 19-yarder. The kick is good this time. is in the lead 17 to 14 with 12 minutes and 58 seconds to play in a game that has history all over it. Walter's pass in the air is good. And Bendross has a first down out at the 41. And Lewis nailed him right on the numbers with it. Third down. Here's Lewis on a roll. Man headed by the face mask. And he falls cool. away from that. And here's a late flag. He's now the decision by Pat Thai to go for three on fourth down rather than try to make a touchdown on third down may come back to haunt him. He's open for the touchdown. Bendroff, touchdown. Keith, he was lined up at tight end. Maybe going to the Liberty Bowl this year. Buford trying to go down the line on the option. Can't do it. Robbie Jones penetrated and got him. Locked his arms and he could not deliver to the trailing back. That was good. Low kick. And an effort at running it back by Darrell White. New man put back there to receive the punt. Lewis at quarterback. That's Lenny Patrick. Can't hold him. Look out. What a duck tough determined run by Lenny Patrick. Second down, eight. Patrick again. Touchdown. Second down and six. The quarterback Javi keeps it, and he's close to a first down as he gets it out around the 42. The two touchdowns here in the fourth quarter. Outside it goes to Lionel James. He cuts it back inside, and a good defensive play over there by Tommy Wilcox. The ball is just over midfield, where it is second down and one. And uh, they try for the first down. They're close to it. Hobby, no 
Mike Pitt. Third kid. Sullivan it is. Joe Sullivan. And Mike Pitt, the defensive end, came roaring in to sack him. Auburn trying to down it down there, and they got a chance. And they do. Nope, he's on the line. And the 11 blue shirts on the line. They're going after him. And he gets it out of there. And no roughing. And the ball takes a soft bounce. It takes an Auburn bounce. And the Tigers are going to get it back at about the 38. First down from their own 38. And Tommy steps up, wants to go to Woods, does go at Woods. And they give him the catch. Yes, they do. 24 carries, 144 yards. Tommy's pass is good to Tommy Carroll. Down at the Alabama 35. Wilcox, number 15, is trying to get in there. As Jones, number 97, but it's too late. Up the middle goes George Peoples with the ball. And he goes from the 35 to the 26th of Alabama. Out of the eye this time. For the first down, George Peoples. And he's got it. It's been a pleasure to see it happen over so many years. Sullivan to throw. And he is hit behind the line of scrimmage by Russ Wood and dropped back on the 31. Up at Cornell now. The pass is away. Could be picked off. It is. And it's Heron again. And he's got a lot of daylight. They finally get him out of bounds. Up on the 44 with 23 seconds to play in the football game. Auburn has one timeout remaining. I don't know if they'll call it or not. Keith, it's amazing that Bear Bryant did not become a head coach until he was 32 years old because of World War II, his certain time in service. The game is over. The man has made history. 315 wins. This is the basic credo of Paul Bryant. If you believe in yourself and have dedication and pride and never quit, you'll be a winner. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. 